Yo, what's up guys, TSL here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'll be covering how you guys can make your very own custom player list. So the first thing we want to do is disable Roblox's default player list. So to do that, we'll go into starter player scripts, make a local script, we'll call it disable uh, Roblox player list. In here, we'll get our starter GUI, which is game colon get service starter GUI. Then we'll say starter GUI colon set core GUI enabled enum dot core GUI type dot player list comma false this is just going to set our core GUI player list to false so if we join the game we should not have our player list here anymore which we don't all right cool so let's continue so basically what we're gonna do is make a little GUI here uh, so a screen GUI we'll call it like player list inside of this we'll have a frame this frame will go over here and we'll make it size like a 0 0.15 or we'll do 0 0.2 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 and we'll just move this here and yeah that looks that looks good obviously you guys can make like your own whole own customization so like it could be off screen and when you press tab it could slide on screen could do that and I uh, actually that's what we're, we'll do in this video but first let's just build this out so I actually just want this to be a holder and I don't want it to have any like background transparent or any background so we'll set the background transparency to one in here we'll have a some frames now these frames will basically just be called our this one will be called our base player holder and we'll just basically clone this every time somebody joins and so that they'll be player added to the player list We'll set this size to 1 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0. 1 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 like that. And that should be good. Alright, um, we don't have to worry about it being too close to the top because we have GUI inset so it will look a lot lower anyways. Alright, we could also move this a, just a tad bit to the left. So I think like a 0 0.79. Yeah, like that. Alright, cool. So back here, what we're going to do is add in a UI corner, UI corner. I also want to make this like a grayish background like that and maybe give it a little bit of background transparency and then make this a lot darker, like something like that. Yeah. All right. So now we have it looking like that. So if we insert a text label in here, what we're going to do is set the size one comma zero comma one comma zero and background transparency one source of sands bold to true uh text scale to true as well we'll say like a whitish grayish color like like that 206 on our red green and blue values and we'll just make this say like player name for now and we can also or actually we'll have a player display name because we'll do a display name list Okay, so what we're going to do is set this text X alignment to left, and that should be good for now. Let's just change this to display name, and yeah, that, that should be good. Just in case this like yells at us, we'll just do like player display name. All right, so that should actually be pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this here, I think. We're going to insert a script in service script service and we'll call like load player list. So we're going to need a few things obviously like our player service, which is game colon get service players, players, and then we'll have our functions, which will be local function on a player added and we'll make the removing function after. So we'll take in the player before we forget let's connection let's do our connection so our players dot player added colon connect on player added without the brackets all right so basically what we want to do here is we want to say local player gui is equal to uh player colon wait for child player gui we'll also do play uh local player list is equal to player GUI or actually what we're going to do 
is we will yeah no that's fine all right so actually what we'll do is we'll have a script in how about start of gui because why not we'll have a local script in here and this will be called update list so this will first of all let's go and replicate storage folder remotes and a remote event called update player list say local rs is equal to game colon get service replicate a storage and we'll say local remotes is equal to rs dot remotes and our update plr list event is equal to our remotes dot update dot update player list here we'll have our functions and this will be local function update player list and this will take in the player to up or the player to add um, and basically what we're going to do is get our local player and actually what we're gonna need up here is our local players game colon get service players here we'll have our variables up here we'll have our services then here we'll have our local player is equal to players dot players dot local player here we'll have player gui is equal to player equal to player dot player gui um, then we'll take in or then we'll get our player list is equal to player gui dot player list player list and I guess we should be using wait for child player GUI alright so player list um, and then let's also wait for child here and that's the last place player list alright so player list is equal to player GUI colon wait for child player list we'll have our frame is equal to player list dot frame and then we'll have our local base player base player holder is equal to our frame dot base player holder base player holder and we can actually grab all these variables and put them up here and we can make another comment for like UI variables alright cool so now what we want to do is basically we want to local clone is equal to base player holder colon clone we'll say clone dot player display name dot text is going to be equal to player to add dot display name uh, and we'll do clone dot parent is going to be equal to our frame and then our clone dot visible is going to be equal to true alright and here down here we want to connect so we'll do player or update player list event dot on client event colon connect update player list. All right. So what we want to do in here now is actually inside of our frame have a UI list layout, and here we want to make this visible false. Now back in here, what we want to do is grab these first variables and just replace that with that um, and now what we can do is update player list colon fire all clients and we want to pass in our player that just joined so if we join the game now you see it puts my display name which if you check the player list is Lex Luthor um, anyways that is that part of it but if we join here, let's let's test this before I get ahead of myself. Let's make sure what I'm about to say is actually true. All right, so my local servers are loading up, and oh yeah, there's no display names. There's no display names for here, so we'll have to use username. But anyways, as you see, it only shows this for this player. It shows both, but for this player, it only shows himself. So we gotta fix that as well. All right, so back in studios, let's clean up. And what we also want to do is in our update player list, uh, we want to see 
we want to check something. We want to say if player to if player to add. Hey, let's make this capital because I don't like it when it's lowercase. If player to add is equal to player, then all right. So if our player to add is the same as our player, then we have to load all the other players as well. So what we can do is we can say local players or players in game is going to be equal to players colon get players and we'll say for underscore comma PLR PLR in pairs of our players in game. What we want to do is basically do the same thing, but we want to instead of player to add, actually we, we want to do PLR. And let's just do um, dot name for the username instead. And that should hopefully work. All right, the servers are loading up or the clients. And here we are. OK, so we have two player ones. All right, so you each got yourself one time, which is not exactly what you want, and I know how to fix that. All right, so clean this up, and what we have to do is add one check here in if PLR is equal to player. If player is if PLR is equal to player, then we want to continue to the next iteration. All right, basically, if this player is equal to our current player, then we don't want to add this because we're already adding that here because that means our player to add is our player, so we don't want to add them twice. All right, so now this should be the final test. All right, letting the client slow it up. Here, as you see, we we got two player twos now. All right, clean this up, and I think actually, we, all right, so what we want to do is have an else here, and then run this, because we don't want this to run even if the player is the player to add, or if it's not, we only want it to run if it's not. Otherwise, we'll, we're already adding them. So now everything should be working, hopefully. And let's start. All right, the clients are loaded. All right, now we have two player twos here. And then this one has one player one. All right, one more thing we want to do here is we want to set the clone dot name equal to our player dot name then down here what we'll do we could cut this out get it out of the else statement we want to check if not frame colon find first child um, with the player dot name then what we want to do is do this and set the clone dot name equal to player dot name or I'm sorry this should be player to add um, and then this should also be player to add all right the clients are loading up here you see player one just joined and player two should be joining now all right you see player two got added here and now we have player one and player two here now you see these things are right on each other that's that's an easy fix you just change the padding in your UI list layout Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you guys want to see a more advanced version of this video where we add support for leader stats, also make sure to comment that down below. Anyways, guys, see you in the next one. Bye.